Okay, our race winner, today's 18th annual Sylvania 300, and punching his ticket to the contender round in the 2014 chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup is Joey Logano, and he drives the number 22 Shell Pennzoil Ford for Penske Racing. He's joined uh, up here by his crew chief, Todd Gordon, and vice chairman of Penske Racing, Walt Zarnecki. And Joey, congratulations. Uh, very strong showing. Uh, and, uh, you know, you look like you, you, you made your move there when you needed to make it. You saved your stuff. Uh, the car was at its best at the end of the race, and, and that's certainly how you like to have things go. Congratulations. Talk about today's win. Thanks. Yeah, was, uh, <laughs> a lot went into this one, that's for sure. Uh, you know, just kind of taking you back to, to, you know, when we unloaded, we were, we were okay. And then yesterday in practice, we were so-so. Uh, I didn't feel like we were great. And um, uh, towards the end of practice, made a couple changes, found some speed, uh, started seventh today, and um, was able to work our way up a little bit in the beginning of the race. I uh, felt like, okay, we got something that, uh, you know, we can contend with for a victory with, and um, if everything worked out right. And uh, we, we ran around, you know, top three most of the day. And uh, we came in and put two tires on, and some a couple cars stayed out. Uh, and at that point, I had a bad restart third, and then I had another bad restart when I restarted fifth, uh, and that put a sixth or so, and, and a caution came out, and Todd put four tires on it. At that point, I thought he was crazy because we came out 16th. And I was like, well, let's just try to salvage something out of this and try to get a, a top 10 or top five because our, our goal um, coming into the race is, you know, get to the next round, right? We want to, we got to get to the next round to win the championship. That's our ultimate goal is to win the championship. And um, we had to get through to stay uh, the best we could and um, had some really good restarts. You know, before I knew it, I was sitting third. I'm like, huh, I got a shot at winning this thing. I, I got 30 laps newer tires than anybody. And uh, we were able to capitalize with that. And then, um, of course, there's caution after caution after caution and, um, you know, making me nervous, that's for sure. And I don't know if Todd and Walt were, but I know I was, and uh, we were able to capitalize and, and have some good restarts and uh, be here in Victory Lane. It's just, um, you know, to me, this is almost like Daytona, you know, uh, uh, it's such a special place for me. Um, you know, I watched my first cup race here when I was five, and I started my first one, and I won my first one, and, um, you know, just after uh, the week I had, uh, you know, in Connecticut and um, doing some really cool fundraisers and stuff, to top it off with a victory was uh, really neat. Well, congratulations, Joey. And Todd Gordon, <clears throat> talk about maybe some of the things that you guys did as a team to get the car better and wind up in victory lane. It was, uh, it was a strategy race. It seemed like, uh, you know, just first two-thirds of the race kind of played out the, the way I would expect it to, two tires on, on a, you know, letting fuel dictate it. And like Joey said, we hung around the top five, uh, I think, for a, a large portion of it. But uh, we, uh, we, the caution came there at early early 200s it was short of our fuel window but you could sense that everybody was coming so we came and took two and put fuel in it but um we were short uh, and we weren't we weren't in a position to finish the race and uh stayed out the next caution that came because we were we were you know what led up to that was a multiple cautions and uh want to see how many laps of caution we get but uh we had one we stayed out and then it uh it went green for a little while and caution came back out with like 52 or 53 to go and we're short, and the last thing we needed to do was to run out of gas trying to stretch something here and, and take a, a, a strong points position and a strong points day and throw it out the, out the window and have to go to Dover strapping for, for making it through. So uh, took the opportunity to come down pit road, uh, put Joey on offense. I, I think he's, a, he's an awesome offensive player. So put four tires on him, put fuel in him, and uh, let him do his thing. I think, uh, I think it was awesome to watch him start restart 16th, and I think, uh, I think in four laps he was six. So uh, high, wide, and handsome. <laughs> It was uh, that was pretty awesome to watch, uh, uh, top uh, rolling around there, and uh, just just put him in a position where he could do what he's really good at, and that's a uh, that's wheeling a race car and not not having to back up, let him go forward. And uh, Walt, just talk about uh, the win here today, <clears throat> second in a row in the chase. <clears throat> Both of your cars will be in the uh, contender round. Uh, that's uh, that's got to be a, a real good start and a real good feeling right now so far. 
Yeah, it really is, uh, Carrie. Thank you. And first of all, Jer uh, Joey, I was nervous there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, I think what happened today and what you've seen from Team Penske and the Shell Pencil Ford and the Miller Lite Ford the last couple of weeks, I mean, three wins in a row, four out of the last five races, really is a, is a testament to how this team brings good race cars. They're building good race cars to the shop. They're bringing good race cars to the racetrack. And then Todd and Paul and the team are executing at the racetrack and taking advantage of that. I like to say the 35 inch bat with the 35 inch, 35 ounce bat, and they're swinging it hard. So uh, we're trying to give them the resources, and, and they're doing with it. So uh, um, we're really gratified with where we are. But um, someone asked me here just a minute ago, "Gee, this must make you feel pretty good." But both cars are, are you know, advancing to the next round. I said, "Let me tell you something about this group. We're worried about Dover right now." What happened here a half an hour ago is great, and again, congratulations, but the team's worrying about Dover right now. So that's our intent, one race at a time, and that's where we're going to proceed. We'll take questions now. Uh, we'll start over here. Mark uh, Garrow has one, and then we'll take the front row, and then we'll go to the press box. Uh, Mark Garrow, this is both for Joey and Todd. Joey, talk to you on pit road after the race at Richmond. You were supremely confident. Like, look, we've got what it takes to be in the final four getting to Homestead. Does this increase that confidence, getting a win early in the chase, locking into round two, and, and does it build confidence for you? And in Todd's case, does it build confidence, even more confidence for the team? I, I, I would think so. <laughs> Definitely didn't go the other way. <laughs> uh, you know, you get a win like that, you know, uh, um, you know, this is my, personally, this is, I consider it my worst racetrack, you know, which is terrible to say because it's my home racetrack, but uh, I've always struggled when I come here and, um, you know, to, to be able to win at your worst racetrack, that makes you feel like you can win anywhere, you know, and um, it just, uh, it's, it's special to be able to do that. And, um, yeah, the confidence is high through the 22 team right now. You know, we, we definitely, all the team Penske, we all feel like we got some championships to win this year, not only in the, the cup side, but, you know, in the nationwide side also. And uh, obviously, I already got the one with the Indy cars. So um, we're just trying to catch up to them. <laughs> yeah, it's a, obviously a big deal to have a win in the chase. Uh, I think it. Uh, I think it. I think it only, as Joey said, it, it definitely doesn't doesn't hurt your position. It, it 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 adds a little confidence. But this whole race team, I think, has had it, it and uh, understands it and believes it. And I, I really thought last week at Chicagoland, they really, you know, everybody did an awesome job because we had an off weekend. We we were we were slow. We were off, and and we finished fourth with it. And then we came here, and we were off a little bit, like Joey said in first practice. Uh, not not a ton, but a little bit. And, and nobody gave up. And this whole Shell, Shell Pennzoil team just kept digging and working on it and and by the time we got done with happy hour i felt like we had a pretty good race car and uh it definitely was uh it was every bit of what i thought it'd be let's move over here to the front row and then we'll go to the press box go ahead rob t Youngson of the podiumfinish.com my first question is for joey and for todd um i've noticed you guys have been really strong with the short runs and pretty good too in the, sh the long runs but when you had those rash of cautions did you think in the back of your mind well we've got a good chance to win this race now um, yeah, I mean, we, we've, we've had, uh, you know, restarts, you never know what's going to happen, but, um, Todd gives me a really good car that I can be aggressive with on restarts. And I think that's a big deal because, um, the, the more in control I am, the more aggressive I can be. Um, and the more aggressive you are on restarts, the more you're in control of the restart. You know, you don't want to be the guy going the wrong way. Todd said a second ago, being the, you know, on the offense and not on the defense, you know, uh, it's not just putting tires on that makes it like that. You know, it's having a car that, that's capable of running in traffic. And it's something that we work on a lot in practice and um, making sure that, you know, we have something that's going to be good in traffic and um, that can restart well because um, we've seen it time and time again with these sprint cup races, it's most likely going to come down to a late race caution. Uh, so you, you got to be able to execute, um, you know, the restart in the first five laps um, around traffic. And, uh, you know, it, that takes a, a good car and, and, and kind of knowing what to expect and trying to play it out in your head before it happens. Definitely. Uh, you know, it's, it's the short runs are, are, are good. It's Joey's, Joey's strong at it. He, he's able to be aggressive and, and he, he takes everybody he can, but, uh, I think the bigger piece is the is the confidence of of the late race restarts was we're, we're in a better position on fuel and tires. Uh, I think that that you know it it kind of it kind of checks you up to make that call with 52 to go to come to take because we gave up a bunch of track position and I watched our teammate early in the race not be able to recover as quickly as as Joey was and and his ability on restarts got him back that. Um, but uh, uh, I felt like once we got to the point where we were top three we were in a really good position because. 
we were going to, he could be aggressive on restarts. We had tires to do it. We, we were in a, you know, we were at an advantage with our tire and fuel situation. For sure. And to follow up on my question, and maybe you guys can both answer this question, um, how does it feel like when you can actually have a car that responds to your input um, for both of your sides and then see it, ex um, you can execute that on the racetrack? Well, it, it's nice when you, when you uh, say something about the race car and um, Todd's even making an adjustment and fix it, you know, and, and it gets better. That's, that's, what, uh, that's what we get paid to do, right? When we go to practice, it's, okay, where we are on speed and, and what do we need to be better, talk about it and, and uh, you know, be methodical about our adjustments and, and um, you know, go from there. And I think Todd does a great job. Todd doesn't um, just make changes to make changes. And I know that's how I would be if I was a crew chief. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, just do that and do that and it'll be fine, you know, and, and go for it. But um, Todd really understands and takes the time to, to talk it out with me which I think is very important to, to dig out the, the deep information um, and then think about what the uh, adjustment's going to do and, and what the reaction to other parts and pieces that a car is going to be when he does it and um, understand why a change is a certain thing. And uh, I think that's what makes him very strong as a crew chief. Um, and that's why I wouldn't be a good crew chief because I, w I would just go for it. <laughs> so together we work out. <laughs> I think uh, I think the, the yeah the relationship there is we, we've both got the attributes that fit our positions right, um, uh, but uh, we've got a bunch of guys that, that really support the program as well and it's not just me and it's not just Joey but um, a testament to to what the engineers and the car chief and all the mechanics did we didn't turn a screw in a day in, in the car all day we all we did was play with air pressure so um, that's a that's a rare weekend and a, a good one for everybody today. Let's go to the press box for a couple questions. Go ahead, press box. Hi, Joey. Rich Thompson, Boston Herald. Uh, Joe, when you won the Lennox in uh, 2009, it was kind of in a downpour. It wasn't the way you wanted it. How much sweeter was it to, you know, take the checkered flag and the spin outs and victory lane and everything? Man, it was, uh, I didn't know where victory lane was here, actually. So I just made another lap. I just, I said, I'm just going to keep going around. I, I didn't have no rear tires on it. I think I dragged the frame rails off the car, but um, I just didn't want to come in. I wanted to stay out there and, uh, um, you know, this is, like I said, how big of a win it is for me. And uh, I've never got out in front of all the fans on the front straightaway before. It was just too cool. I, had, I couldn't uh, give up that opportunity. And then I just wanted to keep going. So I just kept making any laps out there. And, um, yeah, the car might not, might not be much left to the car, but it was uh, something really, really special to win here. And um, I wanted to make it last as long as I could. Go ahead, press box. No more. Back downstairs. Al Pierce, looks like might have a final question. Go ahead, Al. Yeah, Joey, Al Pierce from Auto Week. I noticed every opportunity you had to pick a restart line, you wanted outside. Has this track always been an outside restart track, or did the weather conditions today and the track itself lend itself to outside? And a question for Walt, where's Roger today? <laughs> He's uh, traveling out of the country on business. Um, but I've spoken. But I've spoken to him, and he's aware of what happened. <laughs> I gotta get my phone <laughs> to call him still. But um, you know, the the restart to answer your restart question. Um, as far as I can remember, yes, the outside's been the preferred lane, and um, it, it's it's kind of sketchy though because you know it it is where you can get the momentum, um, and you know most likely you come out in the lead, but. Uh, the way you get into the corners here, and it's so flat, just one lane down, that it, the inside car gets loose really easily. Um, so it's dangerous being out there, but it is the preferred lane. And um, that's why when, when I was in the lead, I was make sure, do everything I can to make sure I had a good enough restart that I had position on him. Um, I didn't have to race him through turn one. Um, that, was a, that was my big goal on uh, everyone was just getting through the gearbox as quick as they could. Two more questions. Kenny, and we'll finish with Mark. Kenny Bruce with NASCAR.com. Joey, one of the restarts with your teammate, I believe when when Harvick shot past you guys for the lead, am I correct in that? What what exactly happened on that restart? Oh, it was ex exactly what I just talked about. I got on the inside and and you know we're we're both racing for the lead and um you know I got loose and uh, you know I had to start chasing it up and um, thank goodness he he held on to it. We held on to it and we and we both ended up with the good days out of it. And the important thing is that both of us are you know, moved on to the the next round and we can keep uh, racing and working together and uh, trying to win the championship. No, uh-uh, no, I, I mean, it's not over till it's over. I mean, I, I've seen these races change a lot in the late, late, race, uh, late, late laps uh, in these things. And uh, no, I, it's never over till it's over. I mean, I'm, 
I'm, uh, if I'm running fifth with, with four to go, I still think I could win this thing a lot of times. And, uh, you know, I think that's the attitude you got to have. You know, uh, you get a late race caution, you're like, oh, I, I got a shot at it. And, you know, it might take a miracle, but I got a shot, and that's all I can ask for. Final question right here. Mark Garrow, PRN again. Joey, what, what's your attitude going to Dover? That's a nice place to be able to go to and not really have a whole lot of pressure on you, already be locked in. There's a lot of danger lurking around every corner there. So what's your attitude going in there? Yeah, Dover is a crazy racetrack. You know? so, it's so much fun to go around it. Um, right now, my focus is on Texas, though. We got, we got a test down there the next two days, and um, you know, we got to make sure we, we make that test, uh, everything we can do out of it, and make sure that we're ready for it um, when, we, when we get to Texas and try to, try to win down there again. Um, so... You know, right now I'm focused on that. Then we'll then we'll think about Dover. Uh, you know, and and you know, you talked about being relaxed. Um, it's not really the case. You know, uh, you know, Walt, Walt said earlier, our, our next focus is the next race. You know, and we need to um, you know keep doing what we've been doing. You know, we we focus hard on each and every racetrack, uh, and and we want to go to Dover, uh, knowing that we're in the next round's nice, but we want to go out there and win. We want to keep that momentum going, and you never know what's going to happen later on in this chase. You know, there could be a, a time that we don't make it to the next round, and we got to revert back to points. Well, it'd be pretty nice to have a solid finish at Dover uh, to, to if you've, um, you know, try to get a good solid uh, points position at the end of the year. Our goal is to win the championship, though, so we have to get from round to round, but, um, you know, just because we're in the next one doesn't mean we're going to take an off weekend next week. Congratulations to the number 22 team, to Team Penske, and uh, good luck next week at Dover. Congratulations on uh, getting in that contender round, Walt. Congratulations when you talk to Roger. Tell him congratulations from NASCAR. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.